Oh, you guys, welcome back to Summit Auto Lab here in Park City. I know I say that every time, but it's a welcome back for me and Faith as well. Faith and I just got back from like the most relaxing, stress and carefree vacation that we've been on in a while. We went on a Royal Caribbean cruise through the Caribbean. We went to Honduras, Mexico, the Bahamas, and it was so nice. We didn't have to worry about a thing. We decided not to film much of it and just to take a break, and it was so relaxing, but it's back to work. So right here we got, we're mid project on the wide body came and build. We still gotta work on that. Today I think we're gonna tackle some Ferrari stuff. While I was gone, some Ferrari parts came in from Combi America. So we got the two fuel pumps for the Ferrari plus some odds and ends like little gaskets and stuff. So we're gonna be fixing this today so that we can actually drive it again. And then we also have some mods planned for the SRT. More to come on that. I'm not sure if I wanna spoil the surprise or not yet, uh, but just know that that is coming up soon. Along with some stuff with the Stradman, we're gonna be rewrapping his Toyota Supra. And now that it's wide body, we have more work to do on that than before. Uh, so we gotta get to work. The engine is still all torn apart from my last video where we diagnosed what was wrong. So if you guys remember this fuel pump, the driver's side or the left side fuel pump was leaking. You can see how clean it is and that's because it was covered in gasoline. That side has not cracked yet, but we ordered that pump anyways. So my plan of attack is to do this side first because that's obviously the side that's broken. If I run out of time today, I can technically leave that side as is for now until I have time. We need to now unbox the new fuel pumps, the new rings, the gaskets, all that kind of stuff. And I got the box right up in front. Oh, you can see it right there. For this project, I contacted Recombi America and they could not have been more helpful with this whole project. All right, I just cut this box open here and we have both fuel pumps ready to go. Got the driver's side and the passenger side and the new like float part. So I guess this, uh, with my research, I think this is the driver's side. This, this is the pump we're gonna be doing first. I'm gonna set that aside here. Then we have the passenger side fuel pump, the one we're gonna be doing second. These are like uh, threaded rings that kind of go on top of uh, the fuel pump. They hold them in. And then we have our gaskets um, and stuff like that. And everything also has Ferrari logos written all over it. So the genuine OEM Ferrari parts distributed by Recombi America. So if you guys have a Ferrari and need parts, definitely check them out, they're awesome. But talking about 430s specifically, if you guys have a 430 and you need parts, I'm gonna list the part numbers right now. The passenger fuel pump, the one that's not broken on mine, is part number 239820. Okay, so that is the right side. So that's that side of the Ferrari. If you're in Europe, that's gonna be the driver's side, but here in America, it's the passenger side. And then the driver's side in the US version or the left side of the car is part number. They're very, very similar. Let me look it up real quick. It is 239821. Okay, so that side of the car ends in 20. This side of the car ends in 21. Now, if you guys need these, uh, these little coupling, um, let me see if they actually have a name. Uh, Pump ring nut, that's what these are. If you need a Ferrari pump ring nut, uh, the part number is 181682. Then if you guys need a pump gasket, which are these awesome little ring gaskets there, they're pump number 181681. So. There you go, the more you know. So for those of you who subscribe to our channel that have Ferraris, whether it be a 430, a 360, a 355, a Mondial like my neighbor, or a 488, and you guys need random parts like a fuel pump or some gaskets, check out Recombi America. They were so easy to work with and they knew their stuff. I was like, oh, I have a 430 coupe, and they're like, boom, part number, bam, 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 bam. And while I was chatting with them, I was able to get you guys hooked up. If you guys need a part uh, from Recombi, Type in Summit10 in the discount code section and you guys will get 10% off. Before we get started, I gotta tell you guys, I love YouTube. I am on YouTube all the time watching like how-to videos mainly. Um, and I watch so many how-to videos prior to me tearing into my cars and it helps me like get the project done sooner. It helps me order the right parts the first time. Um, and all that, so I just got finished watching my buddy Dan's video when he changed the fuel pumps in a Ferrari 360. It's a very similar process, and I was able to learn a lot and prep for this job watching his videos. His YouTube channel is called Normal Guy Supercar. He used to have an F430, and I chatted with him actually quite a bit before I bought my F430. He's now bumped up to a 458, and he still does all the work on his own cars and his buddy's cars too. Uh, check out his YouTube channel, it's a link in the description below, along with a link to Recombi America if you guys need parts. 
got the safety off right there. Let's see here. Oh, that was a piece of cake. It took like two seconds. Hopefully the rest of the project is that easy. I doubt it though. Aha, that was just as easy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like a white square there. White square on that side. Basically you push it in, pin, like uh, pinch those two squares and then it pulls right off. So, so far I've been working on the car for about 15 seconds. We got the electrical, electrical connection off and we got the uh, fuel line off. Next part, we need to get that um, fuel pump nut. That's what it was, fuel pump nut. We need to get the fuel pump nut off. I don't have the specific tool, but it does have like the little like ridges on it. So I'm just gonna get a flathead screwdriver, a little hammer and just start tapping away at it, trying to break it free. All right. There it is. <laughs> you guys remember when I said this was really easy? I jinxed myself. I'm to the point where I don't know what to do. I gotta figure it out. I gotta move some things around and try to get the fuel pump to slide directly out without hitting the body of the car. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do, so wish me luck. <laughs> okay, you guys, <clears throat> I'm giving you a quick update. I've been hard at work. Uh, it's been about an hour and a half of tinkering, taking things apart, trying to figure out how to get that stock broken fuel pump out of the gas tank. And out of all my research, I figured out I need to detach and move the actual gas tank. So I'm gonna turn the camera around here and show you the mess that I've made. So you can see I've actually lifted the F430 up on my quick jacks, put them on the wheel ramps, took them off the quick jacks so I could get that tray off. Then I put them back up on the quick jack so I could get underneath. Then I had to pull this wheel off. Then I had to pull the wheel well out. Now, then I had to remove this like bracket that holds this fuel tank on. Now I'm working on getting the fuel tank to move that way about two inches, uh, which it's not wanting to do that. So there's a lot of problem solving going on. And I think what I'm gonna do is siphon all the gas out so that the gas tank's lighter and then see if it'll shimmy around. Okay, got the siphon all hooked up. And uh, while we're patiently waiting for that, I think we're gonna talk about wrapping the Supra. Yes, we are. For SEMA, oh, gotta yes, get that done. We gotta start tomorrow? Next tomorrow. Time? Yes, tomorrow, tomorrow. So, yeah, probably my next video will be wrapping the Supra again. Okay, you guys, so it's been about an hour since of just jiggling around the gas tank. Uh, maybe not, like, maybe like 45 minutes. Um, but I finally got in a position where I was able to bend the old pump and get it out. And then, as you can see, I'm sitting in the engine bay to get leverage. I basically had to put both my hands on this opening of the gas tank and just like yank on it to get the fuel tank to shift enough for me to be able to slide the new pump in. So, if any of you are thinking about doing this on your own, you may just wanna find like a independent shop to just do it for you. Maybe not the dealership, but uh, yeah, this is a big pain in the butt. So once I get this new pump in, I gotta put everything back together uh, so I think we still have about an hour and a half of work. <laughs> After a huge struggle and a lot of frustration, we were able to get the fuel pump in um, and it's not broken either. I had to like put it in and then I had to attach the float as it was in the tank. So man, this was a big pain in the butt. Okay. so. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a notch in the aluminum there, and then there's an arrow here with a notch right there. We need to line that up and push it down like that, just like that, but we need to put the green new O-ring on here and the new um, uh, fuel pump nut on. So, okay, and then this guy, just like that. Then when you push this down, it'll line right up with the notch. For our um, fuel line here, just like so. Ah, I'm gonna tighten it first, I'm gonna tighten it first. Okay, so you just push the fuel pump on, just like that. 
Should be a quick connect, that should just be it, just like that, but when we start the car, we'll verify and make sure we don't want gas spraying everywhere. Just like that, with the safety, so it doesn't come unclipped. Now I have to go through and reconnect and reposition all the brackets and the, and the actual tank and everything, and we should be good to go. Okay, after many hours, I think everything is hooked up properly. Not everything is bolted in. I still have to put in those uh, engine bay covers and a few more brackets. But before I get too far, I want to start up the car and see if any gas is like going to spew out or anything like that. So let's start up the car. So I knew it was gonna have a rough start and that's because one of the lines was depressurized so the pump had to catch up and it seemed like it did. So let's see if it's spewing any gas anywhere. All right, looks like it's doing just fine. We're gonna have to do a test drive tomorrow since it's like almost midnight already. There's no um, engine codes, uh, so we're good. And just like that, the rest of the engine and the under tray and everything is put back together. So that took me about another hour and a half. There are so many bolts. And that under tray, that is a very difficult under tray to take off. So anyways, um, the Ferrari is all put back together. This project took way longer than I thought. So I am not going to do the passenger side quite yet. If I find myself with everything kind of torn apart again, I'll tackle it. Uh, but until it breaks, I think I'm good for now. So tomorrow we have something really, really fun planned. James the Stratman is bringing his wide body Rocket Bunny Toyota Supra up to the shop to be rewrapped purple. So you guys know his theme, purple and white. That's, that's what we're doing to his car. Um, I'm just gonna skip ahead until when he gets here because I, we have some other really, really fun things planned. So I will see you guys tomorrow when the Stratman's here. All right, it is the next day and James is here, the Strat man, yes. he's right there. He brought his Supra, it's already wide bodied, painted, cut and everything, so he's a little bit, bit ahead of me in the race to complete our wide bodies. I think he's gonna beat me we though. We both look like idiots, we, we're in so, together. So we both look like idiots, <laughs> our stance on our cars is horrendous, both of ours, so I think we're gonna go do a photo shoot um, with our two ridiculously looking cars. <laughs> So we're on our way to a photo shoot because both the cars are in a ridiculous state and why not document it, right? <laughs> they both look so bad. <laughs> Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so glad that I was able to fix the Ferrari's fuel pump. I think in one of the next videos to come, we're gonna go test drive it around and make sure it doesn't burn to the ground. Uh, but we're going to finish up the photo shoot here. I'm gonna help James film his next video, and then we're gonna take this Supra to my shop, get it washed, torn apart, and get it ready to wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for that next video, and uh, we'll see you there. Peace.